What is going on everybody? James Hancock here and back to do a reaction video to our first official teaser for Halloween Kills, which is now coming out October 15th, 2021. It was originally supposed to come out October of 2020. It's been pushed as has Halloween ends to the following year. And from what I'm reading right here, Candyman is going to take over the slot previously occupied by Halloween Kills. So it's kind of crazy that 14, 15 months out, we're getting a teaser for this movie, but it was a foregone conclusion that this sequel would get made. I know that David Gordon Green and Danny McBride had originally planned on doing their Halloween reboot, or I guess it's not really a reboot. They basically washed away all the sequels and just kind of, you know, whatever you want to call the 2018 revised version, pick your poisoning when it comes to terminology. But I know their original plan was to do two movies, but they decided to wait and see how their first turn of bet would do. And I'm right here on uh, Box Office Mojo, and apparently... The budget was $10 million for the 2018 film, and worldwide it grossed $255 million. So obviously, the fan base is there, the audience is there, people love Michael Myers. They will continue to show up and watch him butcher people, probably as long as the art form of movies continues to exist. But I've got a strange relationship with the Halloween franchise where I watch all of them, and I enjoy all of them, more or less, with various peaks and valleys. But the only one that I love is the first one. I mean, John Carpenter, his fingerprints are all over it. He did the score, the script. It's got a unique photographic style, an incredible atmosphere, style, and tone. Changed the horror genre forever. There are earlier examples of slasher movies, but that was the slasher movie that really took it mainstream, spawned countless imitators, and it holds up so well to this day. And horror is a genre that can age a little bit like, uh, I don't know, like wine. Sometimes like it, it can reach its peak and then it turns into vinegar. But that original John Carpenter film, it holds up incredibly well. So it's no surprise to me that they continue to make sequels, reboots, remakes. But I've always wondered what would have happened like in a parallel universe of every single Halloween film since the first one had been like the third one, Season of the Witch, where it has nothing to do with Michael Myers, where you just tell a new story set during Halloween. And maybe I've got sentimental feelings toward it because I was a really little kid when that one came out and it just wrecked me really traumatized me in particular that scene where the kids like uh, writhing in, in agony when he starts hearing that song and snakes start coming out of his head it completely freaked me out but imagine how cool it would be if we had like 20 halloween movies that were all experiments in different directions it might be even cooler than what we have because i feel like right now i i will always show up to watch halloween but i do feel like we have diminishing returns sometimes we have peaks sometimes we have valleys but it is a formula, and how many times can you really watch this formula and expect to see something new or fresh or original about it? But maybe I'm just being old and cranky, and maybe I'm in the minority on that. Maybe people are like, shut up and just watch the uh, the new teaser and uh, see what it's all about. So I'm going to let this sucker rip in three, two, one. Burn, baby, burn. I mean, it's hard to react too much because obviously that is the definition of a teaser. It's barely even a teaser. It's more just like a, a hint of the movie to come. Um, obviously, Michael Myers is going to be back for Halloween Kills and going to be back for Halloween Ends. So clearly he's in that house burning and he escapes. I mean, at this point, who cares how he lives? He's going to live. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. He's going to go on a murderous rampage. And at the end of it, Jamie Lee Curtis will have to do battle with him. I guess the big question is, at some point, will they actually kill her for good? Because if memory serves, I think it was in Halloween 8 at the beginning where they killed her. I need to go back and check that. And then they just kind of wiped the slate clean and pretended like Hollywood uh, Halloween H2O and that the 8th one had never happened. The continuity of this franchise is all over the place, but it is, I mean, like I said, I have fun with them, I watch all of them. I guess if I were to lean toward any crop of them, it would be that first like like five or six, because I feel like the continuity was more or less in place, but then you had like the Rob, Rob Zombie reboots, which had their moments, but for whatever reason did not resonate with fans. But now the franchise is in the hands of David Gordon Green and Danny McBride, and they seem to be having fun with it, and they are making vast sums of money. So more power to them. They seem to be getting away with it. I will continue to show up for each and every single turn at bat, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. What are the all-time great like two or three Halloween films? Because 
I am of a certain age where I'm naturally I'm going to look toward the ones from the 70s and the early 80s. But who knows? Maybe people feel like the 2018 one is one of the best. I honestly can't say, but I think that's all I got for now. There's no other news related to Halloween Kills. I imagine we'll see a full-blown trailer six, seven months from now, or maybe even later. It might be next spring or summer before they start really ramping things up for the fall release. So 15 months from now, we've got a... Halloween-themed film to look forward to during the Halloween season, which is my favorite holiday of the year. And also, if you haven't revisited the original film in a long time, go back and check it out. It's one of those iconic horror movies like Rosemary's Baby or The Exorcist or The Texas Chainsaw Massacre or any major horror film you care to mention where they're not probably anywhere from like 10 to 20 essential horror films that really define the genre, and it absolutely remains one of the essential horror films. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a shout on Twitter at Colbrax if you want to talk more about horror or Halloween or whatever. But I can't thank enough for watching the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, but more importantly, as always, onwards and upwards.